I'm Bogdan and I come from Serbia. Uh, so I've read that uh, 18 coal plants in Serbia uh, emit more uh, air pollution than uh, 221 uh, coal plants in other countries in Europe. So uh, at, that's because of corruption. So there are corrupted politicians. Uh, they don't use filters on uh, coal plants. So my question actually is, are you aware of this problem? And uh, does European Parliament or EU in general uh, have a plan or how, how can you react to this? Because obviously they don't react to what we say, uh, like environment organizations, they just react to pressure from the EU. Yeah, no, and, and it is known uh, that that's indeed uh, in, in, you know, for it's, it's in some other uh, countries, uh, neighboring countries of you as well. So there's a big problem in that region, I would say, uh, not only climate wise, but also air quality. Um, and, and people are aware of that, but you're absolutely right. It's also a bit complicated, you know, to, to since Serbia is not yet part of the, the EU, um, it is on the table once accession talks are coming there. Uh, so, and that's also what you see. This is one of those topics that, that will be discussed as, as soon as accession talks are starting. I know that, that Serbia, Serbia is still a bit further down the line, but it, is, it will be on the table by then, it's not so much at the moment uh, when when those accession talks are not there. And I think indeed Europe should have a better strategy for the Balkans anyhow, and then should also think of what does it mean when you are talking about support for the region? Because, you know, as you know very well, China is investing anyhow in the region. So they, they see options there but geopolitically and just like Russia. So I think Europe is fully aware of that, but also then once you are going also to invest in the region, even beyond accession, then also we should talk about what kind of investments as always. And here we have a big problem that the responsible commissioner for, for uh, accession is a Hungarian friend. I'm looking at Gawa, he's Hungarian, so, uh, but he's from Fidesz and he doesn't give a shit about the Green Deal. And he's using that also to give it to friends, basically. So he's, he's doing the good Fidesz Hungarian style now in, in accession countries or in the Balkans, so in the neighboring uh, policies. So there is our biggest problem that again, the Green Deal, which is a priority for the European Commission has not sunk through all the levels of the European Commission and certainly not to the commissioner who's responsible for neighboring policies. And, and that is one of those problems. But we as Greens are fully aware and we are continuously attacking him on that. But until now, you know, Van der Leyen, the boss of the commission is happy that this Hungarian guy is, is further down and not, not in the most important portfolio, but that's bad news for you. Sorry for uh, pointing out the Hungarian part, uh, Gabor, I know it's not you. Yeah, but uh, Oliver Vasher, he, uh, he isn't the sharpest knife. Uh, <laughs> so uh, he's just uh, uh, a servant of Orban. Uh, and, but uh, that would be uh, good to uh, announce that because Thomas Wright, uh, the uh, co-president of the EGP on his uh, last rally in the Balkans, uh, campaigned uh, for uh, against these uh, uh, coal uh, power friends and also for the coal phase house itself. Uh, it's a, it has a long story and uh, it's a, a long, uh, it's a aged demand of uh, the Greens, but hopefully uh, we can achieve it. And also for this COP itself, uh, there were quite an announcement on the coal phase out. Uh, it, and uh, uh, from China side, it was a little bit uh, surprising. Uh, they they won't finance more uh, coal, new coal uh, power plants uh, abroad. So uh, they will do that at home, but uh, uh, hopefully not on in, in on the Balkans. Do you have any other questions or reactions? Maybe uh, if I just make. Make comment yeah. on the Balkans. Yeah, so thanks to 
next to the accession talks, the other platform that exists is um, a less known treaty, which is called the Energy Community Treaty, which is a treaty between the EU and some of its neighboring countries, including all the, the Western Balkan countries. And the ambition of that Energy Community Treaty is actually to um, transfer the EU acquis, in particular on the energy legislation, into the Western Balkan countries, but there's also conversations about um, introducing a, a Western Balkan ETS um, or a carbon price mechanism, um, as well as um, there's now a discussion about the um, uh, revision of the Western Balkans NDCs and so on. Unfortunately, um, the representation of the European Union in that energy community treaty runs through the European Commission and in particular through DG Energy and their interest in promoting the climate file is not necessarily as strong as we would want and of course on the side of the western balkan countries the interest um, on uh, having ambitious policies is also uh, not yet very present i would say so this is a this is a platform that exists and uh, this is a platform where ngos can engage and must engage uh, but it is not fully delivering yet but i'm i'm hopeful that it can be in the future